Hi, this is Bilal from Speckle and I have started using Obsidian. I have created an Obsidian document for a villa project. I added project details. I have my project description with some render images, etc. Then I thought, wouldn't it be great if I had the 3D model inside Obsidian as well? Well, with Speckle, you can have that. In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from Revit into Obsidian step by step. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to switch to Revit and obviously the first thing you need to have in Revit is the speckle connector. If you don't have it, there will be a pop-up on the top right corner of this video. Go there, watch the video and install the speckle connector for Revit. Once you do that, you will have a new tab for speckle. You can activate the Revit connector from there. So the first thing we are going to do in Revit is basically create a project, a stream for our model. You can create it either from the web application, Speckle's web application, or within the connector UI. We will do the second one and create a new stream within the connector UI. Let's give it a name. I'm going to name this as a sample villa project. You can give it a description. You can make your project private or public. For now, I'm going to keep it private, but we're going to change it to public in the next steps. And you'll understand why. Let's click on create, and this will create a new project in Speckleverse. Now I'm going to send everything from this model into this project. And every project will have a default branch. Branches are models in Speckleverse, right? And so my whatever I sent will be stored inside this project, inside this model called main. My selection by default in Revit is going to be everything. So let's send everything. When I click on send, what Revit does is that it converts your models, your elements from Revit into its speckle equivalent. So it is web friendly, so you can view it in other environments as well. Okay, sending is done. Let's view it online. And this is how it looks like inside Speckleverse. One thing I realized is that I can't see inside buildings and I also see these light images having the geometry of lights as well. So I don't want to have that in my model, but let's keep it as it is and have this inside Obsidian for now. In the next step, we are going to make some adjustments on the Revit side, all right? So how do we embed this into Obsidian? As you can see, there is a share option on the top right corner. I'm going to click on that and that will take us into this dialog where we can see there's an embed option, but we were embedding only works if link sharing is on. In order for others to view your model, your project needs to be public. So let's turn on link sharing so everyone can view our model, right? So now I have an iframe code that I can simply copy and paste it into Obsidian. But I see there are also some other options for embedding. Let's see how that works. So I see that my view can have a transparent background, which might be a good thing. So I'm going to check this option. I can hide viewer controls, which are these things right here. Let's hide those as well. Hide viewer sidebar, which is like this one. Let's hide that as well. Hide object selection on four. I'm going to check that option as well. For other three, I'm not going to touch these. So this will update my iframe code according to these options. So let's copy our iframe code and switch into Obsidian now. Let's delete the previously added one and simply paste the code we received and press enter. This will generate an iframe inside my Obsidian document, which means I can view the model that I just sent from Revit, right? This is the same model that I have inside Revit. So 
let's make some adjustments on the Revit side now. I'm going to go back to Revit and as I said, the reason why I can't see inside my building is because there are rooms. Rooms have an actual 3D geometry in Revit. So instead of sending everything, I will expand this and I can see that there are some other options. I can make a selection and send that. I can send a specific category or I can send a view. I'm going to switch to view because I want to send this 3D view into speckle. So whatever is hidden inside this view will not get sent. Does that make sense? Because rooms are not visible in 3D view, it won't block the inside of my building now, right? So let's check the 3D option and let's click on send. Again, Revit connector will do its thing and convert it from Revit into Speckle. And we can view it on the web. And as you can see, now I can see the insides of my building, right? So let's go back to Obsidian and see if it actually updated. So I'm going to go back to Obsidian Let's click on open again. And as you can see, it did not update it. Let me explain you why. Let's go back to the web and open the previous model, which is this one. So as you can see, we have made two sends from Revit, right? So whenever we make a send from Revit, Speckle creates a new version new snapshot of your model's current state, right? So when we click on share and embed this URL, we have embedded this specific version. We did not embed the whole model's history. Because we embedded this specific version, whenever we make a new send, it doesn't get reflected on the Obsidian. So if you want to have the latest version of your model, Basically, you can embed the project, the stream, or the branch. So we can go one level up to the branch level by going to this main branch, right? And we can embed this one as well. As you can see, I have the embed option again. But this time, you can see that I have made another send just a minute ago, and I had two versions. When I embed this, in Obsidian, I will have whatever I sent the latest. Okay, so let's embed this one. I'm going to again check the first four options, copy the URL, and let's go back to Obsidian and delete this one. And I'm going to paste and press enter. And if I open this now, you will see that I can actually see the inside of my building. Okay, so let's test if it actually works. As I said, I don't want to see these lights geometry. So I'm going to hide lights in, in Revit as well. So let's go back to Revit and let's go to the, let's select the lights, let's select all and hide these in Revit, right? So again, I am sending my 3D view. So I have hidden these those lights. Let's click on send. Okay, it is sent. So now if I go back to Obsidian, I should see the latest version of my model, which should not have these lights, right? So let's go back. Let's refresh this. And here it is. I don't see those lights in here. Okay, so one last adjustment I'm going to make is the width of this viewer inside the Obsidian is not the same as the image. I guess let's edit the embed URL to make them same, right? So if you examine what you have here as the iframe code, you can see that it has a source URL, which is 
the speckle URL, I have my embed here, this project URL, project ID, then I have the branch, which is the model, model's name, and then the, is it transparent? Yes. Do you want to hide controls? Yes. Do you want to hide sidebar? Yes. Do you want to hide selection info? True, which is our you know, source URL. Then I see this with, with is the width of our viewer inside Obsidian. So if I, instead of 600, if I change it to 700 and press enter, now it should be exactly the same as, as the images. All right. So that was it. It is actually pretty simple to embed your models from Revit into Obsidian. If you have any questions, please let us know at speckle.community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.